students today our aim is to uh, to study the electroplating that is how electroplating is done okay so for this uh, we need some materials uh, first of all we need water and uh, uh, in water we have to use uh, copper sulfate so i will uh, i will add some teaspoons of copper sulfate into the water <coughs> So I will mix it uh, to make sure that all the copper sulfate solution is completely uh, mixed in the water. Now uh, I will connect these electrodes. Uh, these electrodes, uh, these are made up of copper, and I will connect these electrodes with the positive terminal and negative terminal. Uh, of the battery. And I have connected the positive terminal uh, of uh, one of the electrode and uh, uh, one of the electrode I have connected to the positive terminal and another I have connected to the negative terminal. Okay, so uh, I will add some hydrochloric acid in this solution to make sure that this uh, this solution becomes uh, more conducting. Okay. Okay, I have added the uh, hydrochloric acid with the solution. And now uh, you will see that after 15 minutes or after maybe 20 minutes, you will see that a layer of uh, copper will uh, will be formed on the cathode. Uh, we will see after 20 minutes that this uh, layer of uh, copper will be formed on the cathode. So let's wait for 15 minutes. As you can clearly see, the layer, uh, the bubbles are, are being formed. That means chemical reaction is taking place, and the copper is getting depositing on the cathode. And uh, after 15 or 20 minutes, you will see the uh, sufficient amount of uh, copper will get deposited on 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 the cathode. Okay, so after uh, 10 and 15 minutes, uh, you can clearly see that uh, this deposition of copper layer on cathode. Thank you.